Hello guys, I am Simulator Express, and on this stream today, we're going to be taking not any of these trains. This one back here, the class 222-222-017 from Crickwood Depot here to London St Pancras, and then we're going to be heading on the surface, on the service to Nottingham, stopping at Bedford platform 4. So let's uh, read the briefing. So, Paraclass 2 to 2 Meridian at Crickwood Depot on a Sunday morning in July 2015 before working an empty coaching move into St Pancras prior to heading north with 1D 160900 St Pancras, Nottingham. So obviously, because of the uh, nature of train sim, don't extend out to the Midlands. We are just going to take it up to Bedford, stopping at Hooters Airport Parkway only. So yeah, let's head into the cab and set this thing up. This is a brand new computer. My old one died on me. So I spent a while ordering parts, building this one. So hopefully Train Sim should work lovely on this one. Uh, Anyone can give me some information on audio, that would really help. I can sort that out midstream. But yeah, let's get this thing going. So, good morning. Today will be. Uh, I know. Okay. They're gonna teach me. They're gonna teach me. Today? Okay, thank you. Okay, shift W. Thank you. Uh, working. Actually, I don't think I have ever started uh, 
just changed from cold. So I started from dark. I keep beeping at me. Might be just beeping at me. That's what it was. And now? Thank you. Hello. Christ. Hang up. Something tells me we're not gonna make some anguish. Oh Jesus. Okay, thank you. Ah, oh, isn't this fun? You want to. What do you want? Who's go first? There we go. Finally. Finally. You're back with me. Press N. Start back. There we go. Oh, there. Here I per. Here I per. After a rocky start, we're ready to go. Nearly. All you want me to do? You're already running four minutes late. Good. Yeah, I'm asking the question. Yep, yep, yep. Ow. Yep, we're already in a neutral position. Probably should follow the instructions. Really gonna ask me to do it. Okay. There we go. Did I do it in the right order for you now? In classic. Uh East Midlands fashion, it looks like we might be slightly late. Now test the Radio test call. And we done now? Can we go? Keep it in forward, the SD will go on. Now what? They're in day. Really gonna make me do this. Almost ready, yeah. DRA's off. What now? What now? Canteen oriented. Not, not liking. Yes, the off. Be good now. Come on, train set. Don't do this. Now move the reverse to F. Done. Done. Okay, blah blah blah. We may have to wait. Can't just be. Oh 
900. Okay, but I'm... Right, exam. I'm just checking on some. On. There we go. Let's get a bit more welly. And we are off, finally. Took us just long enough, but we are moving off. Brisk 20 miles an hour. Right, let's, are there passengers in here at the depot? That's not right. That's not right. Let's just ease off the power a bit. Get it moving slowly towards London St Pancras. Finally. So we're not too late anyway. We're not, we're not due to leave London St Pancras until. Time. Some time in. Give us some horn action as well. Yeah. Oh, speeding already. I haven't even been going for ten minutes and we've already sped. Go down to ten. Go down to a bit faster down to 10. There we go. About 10. But I don't think we need any lights on. Pretty good. Daytime after all. Fine down. See if we can get some screen. No, we can get some screen. Let's just maintain at 10 miles an hour to get us to drinking. Uh, London St Pancras. I don't, don't want our passengers. Too cold. Not the worst. And back up to 20. This is about a 15, 15 minute drive from here to the London St Pancras. We do have to take it along part of the sort of in. Oh, no, no, no. Should have watched it. Should have watched it. Yes, we do have to take it along part of the inner London leg of the Midland Main Line. Kind of waiting to get on the main line now. Rather than driving. What have we got come up here? Station. Not for us though. Not for us. Not even on the way back. We give them a two. Wait till we're coming out. Ready? Let's give them a two. Hello, and of course that's Cricklewood. Oh, we're on the main line now. Give it welly. Go all out. Get ourselves going. <coughs> See ya, so. Very much like the 222. It's, uh. Quite nice in the. East Midlands livery, definitely very nice in the East Midlands livery, and it's just quite nice to drive it. Accelerates quite well. A bit tricky at maintaining speeds. I much prefer the uh, 43. Oh, huh. We had some scenery in the way there. Yes, the um. Anyway, the 43, much much better for maintaining speeds. But I mean, I'm slightly biased towards go away BSD and let's pop it off. Maintain 75. Go through. Ends link. 319 to our right. Stop stopping. 
and I'll stop. Carry some good speed through. Oh, got a track change coming up soon and end of existence up here. Lovely. Who does another bit of ending? No, everything's loading. On. Oh, there we go. Still in the tunnel. Oh, don't speed. And stop. Cap light on. Cap light on. Now I'm hoping. If I remember correctly, a flashing yellow means we're coming up to a junction change. That's going to be very awkward if it's a red. No, oh, yes, junk. Oh, let's uh, get us down to 50. Get us down to 50. Get us down to 50. On 50. On 50, that's what we want. Oh, I hope we're going towards the green. Very awkward if we're not. Yes, we are, yes. Thank you. Speeding again. I haven't driven the 222 in a while, so it's all about getting used to it again. Getting used to maintaining speeds and all this. And we won't bring up our 50. And then a 20 following that. in to platform three state tanker <sighs> oh, we can turn the uh no we can back up to the tunnel keep the lights on for a bit Not an end of existence tunnel this time. We're not driving out of the world. Yeah, this should be quite a fun scenario. Just taking pretty much a stopping so, and we need to slow down like this. Yeah, we're pretty, taking pretty much just an express service with two calling stations, even though we're not going all the way if I remember correctly past our route they would probably be calling it Leicester probably Luton <coughs> or making its way into Nottingham Platform. Let's have a look. Is there anyone else driving around here? This is a just a just change scenario. This comes with the class two two two, and you get it. And I'm not sure how good they are at adding. Oh, at adding uh, AI to their scenarios. I know some people are quite lacklustre, you might see one have a train, if you're lucky, on your route. Uh, speeding, 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 speeding. We don't want to speed. Even though that's probably the... Fourth time? Stream? Oh well. I have an excuse, I've never driven this. But I have driven it, not recently. Hello, ankles. Well, there's no one else in the station. Normally, you'd expect some southeastern trains over there. Uh, 
Ah, uh, Eurostar. Eurostar, that's right. Yeah, maybe some Eurostars over here, but at the moment, I think anything. Not even any other EMT trains. The doors, this cab closed off, the RA on, tail lights, and the ones at the other cab off, and I think, make sure this. And yeah, I think we've got everything. Move up to the other cab. <coughs> You're in neutral. Put lights on. Hey, lights are on. Hell lights. Ah, oh, we have another driver. Excellent. Hell lights are on. Ray is on. MS is working. I think we are pretty good. Now just wait here till the departure of 9 a.m. Get some screenshots while we're here. Hey, hello. I do really like uh, the sort of flowing livery of the 222. It goes. The East Midlands livery goes very nice with this train. And I think, personally, I'd have to say East Midlands are one of the better TOCs when it comes to implementing the yellow front end. It really does fit in with their livery. But obviously, you know. Not going to be a requirement for much longer. Interesting to see what happens now with the uh, new rolling stock that's coming about. So, uh, the, the Crossrail stock obviously doesn't have it. Crossrail, Elizabeth Line, however you want to refer to it as, doesn't have the yellow front ends. And from what I've heard, their headlights are very bright to make up for it. Very, very bright. Yes, I think in terms of having yellow front end, ENT do it very nicely. Very nicely indeed. Yes, I'm just going to go with the uh, justification. We are one of the first services out. And that's why no one else is here. Even though we did see some Templing sub. Very weird. I do have all the stock that would be required. I do have the have these trains. High speed one. Let's have a look around some pancreas while we're here. Oh, I spot some pancreas tens link. No one's down here. And they're not going to be for a while, apparently. Something tells me that's not quite accurate. And anyway, passengers can't get down here. They're blocked off. Yes, this is uh, from my time. The couple of times I've been on the Thames Link. This does look very nice. Very accurate as well. I mean, apart from the blocked off stairs. Yes, the the, uh, the platform. Very reminiscent of uh, St Pancras Thames Link. Get back up to our train. Just go through the floors. Passengers, your driver is currently magic. And that's not quite right. You don't. No. I mean the the spacing isn't 
perfect. The DNT stuff is upstairs. Oh no, this is. I mean, the shop windows aren't the best. See you'd. All your stuff here, if I remember correctly. The stairs down to Hemslink are there. I want to say, or up there, maybe. I can't quite remember. Yeah. Yeah. For something you're not really going to see. It's it's nicely done. Pancras has been nicely designed. Outside, it looks very nice. They have got London down around the uh, station. They haven't modelled the inside of King's Cross. Well, I always get the two confused. I think this one is St Pancras International and this one across the road, King's Cross. So St Pancras International, you have your South Eastern, your Eurostar, your King's, uh, your King's Cross, of course. Your uh, East Midlands services. And from King's Cross, you have your... Oh, this is going to take the knowledge. Virgin Trains on the East Coast Main Line, I want to say. And I think your Northern, Great Northern trains go from there. And your Underground, of course. Underground trains. Yes. Today we're focused on our. Oh, is that my train? Trickery of the eye. Yes, today we're focused on our Seoul East Midlands service to Nottingham. I would like to point out that this is very much not accurate of uh, Kings Cross. Uh, I've been here many times to get the East Midlands services to various places, and I don't think I've ever seen. Less than four trains going from the platforms. I mean, there's always at least two trains at the East Midlands platforms. To have just one isn't very accurate. So, just trains. Fix your AI. <laughs> they need, you need more. And we're setting up ready to go. This guy doesn't know what he's doing. He's, he's beyond the yellow line. He's on a platform that's got no train. I think we need to call DTP on him. Dodgy, dodgy man. Dodgy. Ooh. <clears throat> that is also not accurate from my own experience because EMT, they have sort of barriers here-ish. And they don't normally open the... Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Luton Airport Parkway. Okay. Yeah, they don't normally open the uh, barriers until a train is just about to leave. And you're sort of kept on platform of the train you want to be on. I mean, that's just my experience. DMT. Maybe at off peak times they get you on the platform when you're getting although we technically would we be running a peak service not sure maybe maybe we're running a peak <laughs> not very peak obviously Yeah, I do they arrive at Luton Airport Parkway in about 24 minutes. 20? Oh. Well, <laughs> already coming up to a red. I don't know why. Unless this one is just approach control. Oh, no, we're not. We're changing. Changing. I was going to say, there's no one else around. Why would we be coming up to a red? Oh. Knowledge greens. 
I always do this. Always do this. Only when I'm recording or streaming. I never acknowledge the greens when I'm playing on my own. Yes, I'm, I'm happy to be back. Streaming. Missed last week and yesterday, unfortunately, because the incident. We'll refer to it as the incident. We don't need to go beyond that. So I was unable to even record videos or edit or do anything. Sucked. Thankfully, now. Back to it. Bring her up to 50. But I can focus now on streaming and recording. I plan to record a little Christmas gift for everybody. Not streaming. I won't be streaming on Christmas Day. But I'll have a video recorded and edited, ready to put out for you guys on Christmas Day. Hopefully you all enjoy that. And of course I should have more videos going up. Uh, one or two. Including this stream. Going up. Or between now and then. Probably won't be streaming over the week of Christmas but the week after it should be all yours have some we'll have some fun if anyone wants to give me suggestions on where they want to see us go you no know, we could do another Midland no, it's not words we could do another Midland scenario we could do Chatham Brighton anywhere Tell me where you want to see us go. Take it there. But I don't know why I keep calling it throttle. I mean... No, it's power. It doesn't really have a throttle. So yeah. We'll take it anywhere. We've been to... The Midlands twice now. Including the time when we... Try to create a scenario for it. We've been to uh, where did we go? The last video. Ah, oh, yes, we did a uh, West Coast Main Line for the London Midland train. See it off as a Belio take over the service. So I reckon maybe next time we could go somewhere a bit different. He didn't acknowledge that one. Good. Good. Although I bet I'm gonna... Oh! I have a train! Two two. Hello, fellow 222. Yeah, I bet next time when I get an orange, I'm not gonna acknowledge it. Like, well, hey! And that's it. Emergency brakes. An orange, a yellow. Yellow light. No, not oranges on trains. Oh. I have got so obviously moving everything over to a new computer. I've managed to install a lot of the stuff. I do have the AP uh, root enhancement pack that gets rid of ambient sounds, as well as the AP lighting pack enhancement pack, and this is now. Train Sim is now installed on an SSD. Try and increase load times, or decrease load times, I should say, probably better. Which uh, should make the game run a bit smoother. It's on an, uh, got an alright system running it. Hopefully. Shouldn't have to deal with frame rate or anything. And this should be West Hampstead. I want to say no. This is Cricklewood. We've already gone through West Hampstead. Of course. It's come from there. The depot. Your parks over here in the background. And nothing else has moved. We now get up to one ten. Goodbye, everything. 
So I haven't done the snow before. I know that um, Just Trains have their active world stuff that, you know, makes snow a bit more interesting, a bit more tasty. I don't know if there's any active world stuff in this scenario. There might be. Might well be. Uh, eyes and ears open. Passenger alarms. Brake failures. We don't have any faults at the moment. Going around. Oh. Yeah, I am, however, going to grab. Go and we should one nine coming up in the distance. Uh, it's just Bradley. No, Hendon. I'm learning. I'm learning the uh, oh, no, oh, let's. I'm learning the, the Midland mainline route. I know certain parts off by heart, other bits. Just guess. Guess and hope it's right, you know? I do think, for a main line, I've been on a couple of branch lines, and a few main lines, but for a main line, Midland main line is very nice. Very nice looking. I mean, there is obviously, you've got track everywhere. Apart from that, much I can say about it. It's, it's pretty. A lot of vegetation. Got your, your main road. I can't remember what one. Seven. Five. I'm not sure. Running alongside it for quite a way. Out of the London bounds. Oh, let's go. On ten. We don't want to be at one, two. Oh. Bill Hill Broadway, yes. Oh, could we get... Yeah. Zoom out for a bit, but... Whatever, who are you driving? You're driving tornadoes as well. Okay. No. No. No name at all. Well, okay, I guess we're not special enough. And that one. Yeah. I do. I do take a few. Okay. <laughs> blue blue buses in London? No. No, no, no. Red buses. Oh, actually, I'm not going to spark that debate on whether we're out in London or not. We don't want to start arguments over what people count as London. Personally, and I know some people are going to disagree, personally I'd count, thank you, London as anything in the Oyster Zone. I would technically count us as being on the outskirts of London. I believe we're coming up to Elstree Tunnel now. 100. Get it down to 100. Oh, I just caught it. I did miss the 319 though. Did miss the. Wait, oh. So, yes, so Thameslink comes out here. The Oyster cards come out here. I did count this as outskirts of London. And this up here, I know. I do know this one. This is Elstree and Borehamwood. That is probably as far as my knowledge extends. Up to 110. Do it. Didn't even doubt it. These, it's weird when they animate 
passengers being on those platforms because I know for a fact that those two platforms are locked. Passengers can't get onto them because they are the high speed express lines. Midlands, these two platforms over here, one and two, are Thameslink, up and down. And these two here are, which is also where there was a Thameslink train on this track, because they wouldn't be on this track. But yes, these two are up and down for EMT. And they don't stop there, they go straight through. So, A, it was weird that there was a 319 coming along this track. They wouldn't normally, they'd be on those two over there. And B, shouldn't be any passengers on those two platforms because they're not open to passenger services, uh, passengers at all. So, come on. Come on, just trains. Sort your AI out. they can't be entirely blamed i think uh platforms are populated based on dovetails sorting out so dovetail sort your passengers out ruin my experience now uh is this i want to say this is public yes it is <coughs> Uh, it's just a, a calm drive out to uh, out to Luton. Oh, no stopping until Luton. Slowing down this train. No brakes. No brakes on this train. Going straight to Luton. We will have brakes for Luton. We do need to stop there. It would be. I know last stream I didn't stop correctly. This time I'm gonna stop. Stop her. Need to do that. I'm gonna stop her at Luton. I do wish we had a. I know it's a completely benign wish, but I do wish we had some whistle along the middle of the main line. Do love just throwing on the horn. And it does sound very nice in this train. I know uh, the the AP pack is AP packs are the best. I'm not going to deny that they are amazing for sounds. But yeah, for this for a non AP train, the sounds are lovely, lovely. Need to do that either. Get down to 100. Oh, yeah, yeah, we had it. We had it in the bag. Didn't even, didn't even second guess. Speed up. Centenary tried to get in the way. Tried to get in the way. Can't beat me, Centenary. 95. And no. I don't know this. I want to say. No, Sutton. I am no, it's St. Albans City. And back up to 100. Lots of alternating speeds here. We've been down and up and down and up. I can't remember if we do get up to 125. I hope we do. Like one thing. Good speed indeed. Where 
Where's all the AI? I know I've said this a couple of times now, but I want a bit more AI, you know? We are alone out here. We're alone driving along the middle of the main line. We are doing very well for time, though. We've got about five minutes to spare at Luton Airport Parkway. Which is nice. We don't want to be riding the seconds, we want to be enough time to I did a hand gesture there you guys can't see me I can't see my hand gesture we want to have enough time to you know enjoy taking the sights farmland and the trees and the continue electrification and we're driving a diesel train I've heard Somewhere, I can't remember where. I believe the that uh, EMT planning on going. <coughs> sorry, the bimodal trains in there. Next, their rolling stock. I guess it makes sense. You know, they operate a number of lines. Not all of it's electrified. What I've heard, the bimodal trains are not all that they're cracked up to be. So, you know. Hopefully they get some high speed trains that make use of this electrification. I do like the 222s, I love the 43s. Electrification is the, well, in the UK, debatable. Electrification is the future, and uh, make use of it. I'll keep driving old diesel trains forever. No, I've got anything. Else. I love the I love the forty three or uh, as much as the, as much as the next person. 43 definitely up there. One of my favourites. <coughs> you know, 43s are being phased out. 800s coming in on a number of lines. 800s are very nice. Oh, I will say, very nice. I know they had a rocky uh, Great Westerns. 800s had a rocky start. You know, new, new trains is to be expected. They're not going to be perfect out of the gate. Back off. But just hope that they, uh, they develop. A lot of people are saying that they're not going to be anyone's favourites. They're not going to replace the 43s. But I'm sure when the 43s came in, people said the same thing about those. And the 800s are very nice, very sleek. Very modern. Some people don't like the driving unit also being a passenger car. A lot of people like the separation that you have in the uh, 43s, uh, not in U2s. This is what I'm talking about, where you have the driving unit here, and in the same unit you have the passengers. A lot of people like these separate locomotives of the 43, which I mean, it's never bothered me. Some people prefer it that way. We start slowing down, we are coming up to Luton Airport Parkway. I'm slowing down a bit more. <laughs> That first stop of the day, we can't overrun. Definitely can't overrun. Huh? Don't overshift. Don't overshift. That will be good. We probably should have stopped back there, though.
Oh well. Passengers, you know, get a bit of exercise. You're getting a train somewhere. Get some exercise. That's a nice sound. I do like the, the sound of the doors opening. Let's put it into neutral, otherwise the DSD is going to shout at me and slam on the electric... Uh, electric? Emergency brakes. Electric brakes. Again, post is clear for as far as the eye can see. How long are we here for? <laughs> 9.28. We need to stop being so quick. Sitting around is taking place. Let's see just how clear the track is. Is there anything up here? Nothing in the sidings? Nothing anywhere? What about here? Luton? Of course it's Luton. That's Luton Airport Parkway. Nothing at Luton. I can't go any further, but there's nothing out there in the abyss. Get back to our train. I might nick it. I don't want anyone stealing my train. Expensive. Probably get fired if they nick my train. Probably. Anything this way? Back the way we came? No. 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 There is a couple of lights in the distance there. Nothing's loaded except those lights. Road here. Oh, get the council on this. That's gonna have problems, definitely. Oh, red bus. Red bus. No driver, red bus. You're not going anywhere. Either. Kind of an inside. Okay. Number of problems with that red bus. Number of problems. I've lost us. We're here. So, Luton Airport Parkway. I can't remember how far away it is from the actual Luton Airport. I'm going to assume this might be it over here. But I know... But unlike, oh, sorry, unlike the uh, Gatwick on the London to Brighton line, there are no planes. You see an odd, odd plane when you're uh, driving London to Brighton and go through Gatwick. Yeah, nothing, nothing at all. But for a parkway, it's oh no, I missed this building. Uh, it's all right sized. I was going to say it's quite small, but uh, it's dark. Dark, that's for sure. However, the stairs, unlike at Pancras Thameslink, they do go all the way up. We got a car park over it. This is why there's no trains running. There's no cars in the car park. No service. Where is everybody? The major, major station. I know I'm just flying around, but we're here for four more minutes. It's taking in the view, you know? You know what I said about arriving early with a lot of time to spare? You get, you get views. We got some a factory. No idea what they'd be producing. But very well modelled. Like, a lot of detail for something that you would never see I just go back to my train over here like a lot of that you don't see but you know they put in the effort I can respect that I know dovetail get a lot of flack but, you know they put in the effort Let's have a look at Luton Luton got going lots of housing this is very Anyone who's lived in Britain has probably seen this sort of thing. It's not 
exactly right, but you know the garages are back in the middle of a in the middle of a housing estate. Very nice touch, nice touch. Definitely makes the route British. That is a very steep incline, but to have houses on it. The building here is basically, I mean, it's connected to this one. That that doesn't look right. But you know, if you're living in there, you're looking, you're at an angle all the time. Maybe it's angled so that the people up here get a perfect train station. See the stock going through. But that's just my just theory. I think we might have come too far. Yes, we're at Luton. Hmm. I'm lost. I just wait for my train to make it to Luton. Get on. Remind everyone that I am the driver. Oh no, we found it. We found our stock. There it is. Someone's sitting in my seat. Someone's driving it for me. Have a tea break. Yeah, I've never been at Luton Airport. Well, at Luton or Luton Airport Parkway for enough time to just, you know, take in the sights around it. It's uh, refreshing. While well, we are currently that here, I'm just going to go do something. I will be right back. And we're back. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I have to quit. What did we miss? Ah, still paused. Oops. Thirty seconds. I hope we're gonna leave straight at nine twenty-eight. We've been here for a while. Let's get back in our cat. We haven't missed any alarms, have we? That would be all. Old cab's gone on fire while I'm gone. While I've been flying around. <sighs> we are nearly ready to go. Ah, oh, come on. Don't hold us here any... Ooh, don't hold us here any longer than we have. Let's go. Now. Now, come on, you're at the end. There we go. Next stop, Bedford. We should probably. Are we gonna get a buzzer? No. I'll do this job for him then. Good. Now let's go. 
Let's go. Come on, brakes. There we go. Bit slow on the old brakes, but it gets there. It gets there. Now on our way. But final stop. I'm just going to say, basically, on this service, I'm changing driver to Bedford. So Bedford is my final stop. The train will carry on as scheduled to Nottingham. But I'm I'm getting off at Bedford, and that's totally not because of a limitation of the game. Because unions and hours and restrictions mean that I can't go beyond Bedford. Otherwise I'd be in breach of my driving time. Even though I've picked her up from Cricklewood and taken her to here, and that's it. Cricklewood was a long way. I remember the start procedure. I was there for a while. <clears throat> so in 15 minutes, we should arrive at Bedford. What have we got here? Offices, probably. They look like offices. Those modern offices you get that try and look all snazzy. Office. Get back, get back in the yellow line, sir. That probably wasn't a good idea. I'm gonna get fired for that, yes. He was over the yellow line. He was over the yellow that's dangerous. He was lucky I saw him. Let's just say that. So it looks like Purely just assuming, it looks like we're not going to get a 125 anywhere along this route. 110 is going to be our maximum, but that's okay. 110 will do us lovely. So what can we actually do with the PMS? Nothing. We can click it. I think if uh, the active world stuff. If a passenger alarm goes off, it will show you where it is. But you can't do anything about it. Just got to slam on those emergency brakes and hope for the best. <coughs> I know I played one. I played a couple of the just train scenario. I played one where you drive the whole trains 222. Two, two, and they do. The active world stuff is implemented. The passenger alarm does go off, and the uh, train screeches to a halt, and apparently it turns out that their partner just didn't get on the train. That is not a good enough excuse to pull. That was Lee Gray. Not a good enough excuse to pull the passenger alarm. So the whole train slammed on the emergency brakes, got pulled to a stop, and all because of that. Do with that information what you will. Wish we could open these. Just look back. Look back at the passengers. And be like, I don't know how to drive a train. Give them a little spooky. What's up with it? What's up with the little verges? I want to I wanna see past them. All I can see now is just track. And a very nice bridge, actually. That is very nice. This is uh, a bit weird. Leg. Apart from that, very nice. Nice little turn we've got here as well. Lovely little turn we've got here. A little, it's been going on for a while. There we go, straightening out. Got a uh, bridge. Damn you! Why couldn't you have been a normal crossing? I know it's a four-lane track, so to have a normal crossing would be quite dangerous. But I wanted to boost my beat my horn at you. Am 
I wanted to beat my horn at you so bad. So badly that I did anyway. Oh, go away, DSD. Go away, DS. And what are we coming up to now? Uh, oh, I don't know, Hendon, maybe? I really don't remember my stations. Oh, right, did I get it right? Arlington. Okay. Okay. I'm going to claim that as a victory and that I got it right. <coughs> but we all know, in reality, no, I didn't. Pointing that there's not really, not really much to see on this scenario. I would have, I would have liked some more AI. Just to, just to spice things up a little bit. See, see what's happening. When it's just you driving, there's not really, not really much to do. Except drive. <laughs> but hey ho. Uh, it is a lovely route to drive. If I had to drive a route without <clears throat> without any AI and just look at the scenery. Definitely this route. Maybe the London to Brighton route as well. Uh, definitely the London to Brighton route as well. That is a very nice route to drive. Maybe the oh, Great Eastern Main Line. Quite quite uh Phoenix. That work. Yes, it's a very nice route. Do love. I've been hearing it this whole drive, but I very much love these track joints. Sounds. I'm not sure if they I believe they are just <coughs> uh, just trains this ones. I mean they definitely are because the route stability pack removes the uh, default run sounds. It's all, all just train sounds. I mean it sounds very nice. Definitely I'd say it very close to Possibly on par with a AP sound pack. Can't remember exactly how much this uh, the two 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 is. Oh, we're gonna speed. We're speeding. We were so good for ages, and we finally did it again. Yes, I think uh, I want to say fourteen or fifteen, but if it's not that, it's like twenty two pounds. <coughs> for the 222 advanced and I've got a lot of use out of it I for a while I didn't drive it but when I first got it I got a lot of use out of it and I definitely recommend it <coughs> it's a very nicely done train the interior you know a nice interior a bit bland nice sounds are amazing Fun train to drive. It runs well. Uh, There's not not really much bad I could say about it. There's always going to be some people that nitpick a lot of details about them, but you know, I've never noticed anything bad about it. It's got working systems. The TMS, when like implemented in a scenario, works nice. Got your lighting, your your, your GSM. Very nice. Cold and dark starts. I know we had the problem with that at the beginning, but cold and dark starts are nice. So yeah, I do like these. 
fresh trains at them. I mean, I am phasing through my seat. Slightly worrying. Don't think about that. That's how East Midlands keep their drivers on. They just fuse into the seats. Not allowed to leave. Oh. We are nearly at our last station. The end. Call it Bedford. <clears throat> Probably sit around for <laughs> seven minutes. That's what that's what happens when you when you run such a stellar train service as I do. Oh, go away. Seriously. You get to places too early and you have to sit around for ages. Who's who's complaining? Who who complains about an early train? As long as it doesn't leave early. The buses do that. We'll get there two minutes early and they'll leave two minutes early. And you know, <coughs> that's always fun. You miss a train because you were on time and the train was early. A uh, train bus? Bus? The bus was early. Fun one to explain. At least, at least when you're late. You can say, oh, I deserved it. I deserved it. I was late. You're on time and you miss it. <coughs> oh, it's very, very visible incline here. Oh, we are coming up to Bedford. Very nice. Incline, decline. Oh, words have been difficult today, have they not? You know, we've got a lot of time. Let's just, like, back on the brakes nice and early. We don't want to overshoot this one as well. Can't overshoot another station. That would be embarrassing. And we're still we're still gonna be so early. Ah, see there we go. That's probably why they run the diesel trains, because Cantinery has ended here. Where's our four car marker? We just have a we have a ten car marker. That's not. We want a four car marker. I probably should know the route. No route knowledge and all. Well, I can't see a four car marker, so I'm just gonna put her down here. Park her up here. Open the doors. They're into neutral. Uh, I'll throw the DRA on. Changing drivers. Officially. Officially we're changing drivers. Throw the markers on. Uh, I believe. Cab is now all set up for our next driver. Is the official line. <laughs> Definitely not just because I can't drive out to Nottingham. Oh, there's one thing we didn't do. We didn't have a look at passenger view. Yeah, passenger view screenshot. And that's it. Oh no, we do have another seat. Very small tables. I think that is quite accurate. I've never sat in first class free Smidlands chains, although they are apparently very reasonably priced. Well done, driver. You did a great job this morning. If you struggle with the startup procedure, you may want to try it again before driving the other scenario. Thank you. Thank you very much, game, <coughs> for reminding me about the startup scenario. So, yeah, that was just an express service between Bedford. Oh, uh, no, St Pancras and Bedford. 
let's let's see how we did. I expect eating. <laughs> so yeah. There's the morning meridians now. We picked up all of our passengers. Look at that, we are doing good. It's been six times. Not so good. Not so good indeed. So yeah. Thank you for joining me today. We had a nice little drive, just over an hour. <coughs> we took 55 miles. It was, it was good fun. Good fun. Thank you for watching. 